If you've noticed the Go High Level website template library is pretty bad. So I'm going to show you guys how to make Go High Level websites that don't suck. I'm going to take a bad website and turn it into a pro website here in Go High Level. Okay, guys. So for this example, I wanted to do a website for a car detailing business in Seattle. So that's going to be the example. And actually, Go High Level has some templates for car detailing. So I'm going to show you guys the templates they have. And I'm going to take a bad template and turn it into something that looks way better. Let's type car detail. And we have a couple options here so i'm gonna go with this one here but let's just take a quick look to see what it looks like so this is what the template looks like so it looks okay but it's not really popping if we want to go after luxury detailing services this is really not showing that it does have some of the services but i think there's a better way to show our services something that looks more premium or luxury and so what i came up with is this version of the website and so right here this definitely catches my attention looks really clean we have our services about us contact we have a nice logo we have some really good images here showing some of our services we have book now and remember the uh, part with the services that i was showing you is like we can do way better and so instead of showing it like this with this ugly blue in the background we can show it more premium so we have exterior cleaning what is about can we book right now if we scroll down we have something about interior detailing ceramic coating regular car, car wash and these are just some examples but here's how the website turned out and so this definitely looks a lot cleaner this is something that i think would catch somebody's attention it shows that it's more luxurious and then it's a little bit more interactive compared to this so let's jump in and let's get started i'm going to show you guys how i created this website okay so the first thing i did is changing some of the background colors so this right now is set to white i wanted to make it like a dark theme so we changed it to black so it looks a bit more luxurious the first thing here is i'm going to change this to black i want to change this to our logo that i have already created very quickly it's gonna be this one right here so one go level card detailing that's the name we have home about us services schedule an appointment i'm really not a big fan of this type of button so i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna choose the last one and then i'm gonna go into general i'm gonna change this to this blue right here so already looks better now this is a bit too long so i want to change this to just book an appointment just something a bit a bit shorter there we go book an appointment so right off the bat it's already looking better so i'll show you what it kind of looks like right now very quickly so this already looks cleaner compared to this so this right here this already looks cleaner so we're making good progress now the next thing is this big section here that is not really captivating my attention we're going to change it to this and so for this i actually used a bit of photoshop to photoshop this uh, image which i'll show you guys how i did it so if we go here this is a photo that i actually she photoshopped myself so you guys can see we added the blur effect to show that the car is really clean and then it kind of creates a reflection on the floor so it's actually so clean that it creates a reflection on the floor so subconsciously you're gonna think wow these guys are actually really good car detailers and so that's something that I quickly added this was the original photo with somebody in the background so i got rid of all that stuff we made it symmetrical so it's the same on both sides and then i added the stuff at the bottom and so instead of having this i want to go ahead and change this into the image that we have right now so let's go ahead and change it it's this one that i've already added very quickly there we go so that already looks better now you'll notice it has a bit of a shade that's because they have a heavy fade so I can actually turn it into no, and it looks way better. The next thing is like, I'm going to change this to Seattle. And then another thing you'll notice is this font doesn't look that good. So I'm going to go ahead and change it in typography. And I'm going to choose this one here. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. We're going to make this text bigger. It's hard to see right now. And this is the main heading. So we want to make this definitely bigger, Be like a 70. I'm going to make it like this. And I'm going to get rid of this stuff right here. I feel like I don't need it. There we go. This button here, I don't like at all. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this one and then bring it down. That's a quick tip. When you're getting lazy, you don't want to create like this button from scratch. You can just duplicate it. And there we go. So this stuff, I want to have it centered. So I'm going to change this to in the middle. Same right here. There we go. So it's looking pretty good. So that's the main section. Now let's start fixing these services. So what I'm going to do right now is on this website that I created, we have our services down here and then we have three really good photos showing kind of the main services that we offer in a really captivating way. So the way it looks like right now is if we scroll down, they're going to zoom in on the photos. And this is something that we use custom CSS to make it happen. So as you hover over, 
they kind of show up a bit more and so it makes it a bit more interactive i'm going to show you guys how to do this so the next thing we're going to do i'm going to get rid of this section right here because this looks really ugly and then i'm going to select a new section full width and we're going to build it from scratch so this is going to be first column which is going to be the heading for that we can probably just duplicate it quickly bring it down let's get rid of that and then now i'm going to add the three columns underneath which are going to be the three photos and so element number one is going to be the first photo so i'm going to quickly add it and i believe it's this one here i'm going to add the second one very quickly okay so we have the three photos now if we wanted to add like a quick headline down here i'm just going to do a sub headline we can actually duplicate it very quickly and change this to let's say ceramic coating so we have three services and now we want to make the effect of when we hover over it's going to expand here's where we're going to use custom css and for this we have kind of pre-save templates we're going to go ahead and use how to make images bigger when you hover over them if you're curious about this template we have it on our store so you guys can check it out but i'm going to go ahead and copy this very quickly and we're going to go back and add it to our website and so as you guys can see up here we can inject this to our website and we're going to change this to image style one there we go same goes with this one image style one now how it's going to know which photo is because we're going to go down here and under advanced we're going to enter the class so image style one enter and we're going to do the same for this one image style one enter same with this one and we're going to hit save and now i'm going to show you guys how it looks like it looks way cooler and then we can preview the website so this is kind of how it's looking like right now and as you guys can see when you hover over the photo it zooms in which is really cool we are missing one of the things in this section which is check out our services or book now so we can just quickly add it it's just going to be the same button here i'm going to duplicate it and then bring it down now i do want to add this quick effect like when you hover over it goes up so i'm going to just change it it's up here in advanced and it's gonna be under button effects we're gonna do elevate there we go so pretty cool i'm gonna hit save so it's already looking way better so we have our services we can zoom in we have a book appointment and now we're gonna start fixing the services so this right here looks really ugly it's not something that screams you know luxury it just looks a bit outdated and like it's just not not really good looking and so there's a better way to display our services and it's just how i did it here and so if we scroll down like it looks way better right we have exterior detailing we have some cool photos in the background interior detailing book now um ceramic coating stuff like that but this is kind of what it looks like and so what we're gonna do is create one section and then this big section we're gonna duplicate it three times to have four of them so we have this one right here and we're just gonna duplicate it so it looks the same and then invert the order so i'm gonna show you guys how to do it so i'm gonna go add a full section full width once once again it's gonna be one column and it's gonna be a text and so what it's gonna look like is we're gonna have this right here and it's gonna be the main headline here and then we're gonna add a subsection to do the sub headline what i'm gonna do right here is change the background and we're gonna use one of the photos which is this one right here and right now this looks really small and the reason why if you'll notice we have this full section here but it actually has a big margin and so it has 300 and 300 and so right now it looks really small and so what i'm gonna do is change the margin here there we go 300 up up there as well and so i don't like that it moves like this i want the image to be fixed and so what i'm gonna do is change it from parallax to fill 100 width so it's gonna look slightly different right there one thing that i did want to change is we want to have the text off to the side and so what i'm gonna do is duplicate this purple section so we have two of them and i'm, I'm just gonna delete this stuff here so it kind of stays to the side and then i'm gonna change the text align to be side uh facing the left side and so it's gonna be includes and this stuff we don't want bolded there we go and then i'm gonna add the button down here as well and i'm gonna change the alignment to be here this photo looks a bit weird so i'm gonna do full center there we go and so let's take a look at this section right here it already looks really good so this compared to this looks way better definitely looks more appealing to make the other three sections it's going to be actually really fast because all we're going to do is duplicate it so we have the same one here but i'm going to change the um this one let's say it's interior and so for this one i'm going to add a bit of opacity to half fade so we can actually see the text and i'm going to change this one to be on this side so i'm going to flip the order so this one's going to go down and everything's going to be shifted to the right hand side of the website so if we go here i'm going to shift this to the right hand side 
and then same goes with the button you're going to align it to the right hand side and i'm going to hit save so there it is that's the website let's take a quick look at how it looks like so we have something that is way more appealing than when i land on it i want to keep scrolling find out what kind of services they have if i keep scrolling down we have the services and they have this really cool effect which is going to keep people scrolling through your website which is what you want you want them to book check out your services and so we have our services here way cleaner so we compare it to the old website this just looks a little bit outdated doesn't look that luxurious if we keep scrolling down like yeah it has some of this stuff here but it's just not conveying the type of service these guys are offering which is high-end luxury car detailing this just looks outdated and so this for me looks way better having our services very clear people can book very quickly and then if we keep scrolling down we have get in touch which this is stuff that i didn't change that much but this is a way better website. And so that being said, if you're a business owner and you need a website for your business, let us take care of it. We'll build you a professional high-end website for your business. That's gonna help you get more clients. And if you're an agency owner and you need help with your agency clients and your websites, check out the second link in the description to also find the Notion Doc as well. I'll see you guys on my next video.